March 25th, 2022, another wedding event that I attended. This time, it's for my college friend, si Lance, publicly known as XNAT on Facebook. It was a beautiful garden wedding in Tagaytay with a rustic wedding theme. That's why we wear brown colored dress code. You could never predict in your friend group who's gonna get uh, married next or kung sino yung mga next na magkakaanak. Kasi most of those things comes by surprise. And karamihan dun sa mga college friend ko na nakasama ko on that wedding day, I think last time ko pa sila nakita, 2018 pa. Sulat mo! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy first birthday, Jacob! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! More blessings sa atin, pare. Walang makabuntis. Walang makabuntis. More blessings. More pera. More biglaan. More biglaan. More meetings daw. Kala ko presidente. Merry Christmas, mga kaibigan. Merry Christmas! And by this time na nakita ko sila, some of them are already a dad or kaya naman a kid is coming on the way. mga life-changing events and it's nice to see us becoming like proper adults. Kahit na halos karamihan sa amin, naasal bata pa din. Siguro something that my friend said that stuck on me nung, nung nandun kami sa event is that um, Nakakabata yung pakiramdam nung pagsasama-sama namin in a way na we used to tell yung old jokes namin, yung mga kwento namin. It's still the same kwento nung college kami. Uh, alam mo yun, I guess siguro yung term na ginamit niya is we did what we used to do na hindi na namin ginagawa recently or nowadays. So yun, alam mo yung feeling mo, alam mo yung feeling na nakakabata pa rin pala yung mga ganong bagay. And isang uh, paulit-ulit namin ginagawa na hindi naman kami nag-enjoy is drinking in a very loud place kasi hindi rin naman kami nagkakarinigan pag nagkikwentuhan kami but we still did that. Anyways, um, ayun nga, siguro something that changed ngayon is that instead of um, drinking until 3am ng umaga, ngayon 10.30 or 10pm na we call it quits and natulog na lang kami on my friend's nearby place sa Tagaytay. Then the next day, we had our breakfast sa Danes. What's funny is that nung pumupo kami, we checked our phones. Nakita namin na pumutok pala yung Taal Volcano. Which is really weird kasi nasa Tagaytay lang kami. And we should have seen it. Pero wala kami nakita ashes or something. Ano masabi mo sa dating sa pagsabog ng Volcano Taal? Wala naman, di ba? Chill lang. Chill. 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 Nevertheless, it was a pleasant breakfast. Then we had our late lunch at Crosswind since minsan lang naman kami magsama-sama. So nilubos-lubos na namin yung food trip namin. We eat sa Yama, which is a Japanese restaurant in Crosswind, Tagaytay. The food was good. Yung in-order ko is chicken katsu and salmon maki. Um, don't get me wrong, masarap yung pagkain. Pero siguro it's just hard not to compare if may natikman kang much better. Kasi kung tutusin, yung um, katsu in Yabu is good, is better. Uh, yung salmon maki sa Kenji Day is better. So yun, don't, don't get me wrong, masarap yung pagkain dun sa, sa pinuntahan namin. Uh, sa Yama. But again, it's just hard not to compare if you tasted something much better. Tignan natin kung masarap. Dustin, masarap ba? <laughs> ano masabi mo? Hmm. Ay! Sa kung hindi yung sakto lang ha. Gusto ko pa rin na ang tuloy sa ano. Kenji Tay? Hindi ko pa natin. Hindi mo nyari. Ano, Pimps? Oh shit! Sa kung hindi. Okay naman siya. Mas crispy din kasi skin ng chan. Mahirap naman sa ano lang. Kasi nakatimba na lang mas mata. 
Next na onions. Sige, hinagay mo. And siguro, mas maganda yung pagkain namin dun sa lugar na yun if dinner kami kumain doon instead of lunch kasi sobrang ganda ng alfresco area nila. Kaya nga lang, since it's lunch lunch time, alam mo, mainit dun sa alfresco area nila so we prefer na kumain na lang dun sa loob nung restaurant. Nevertheless, really enjoyed hanging out with each other given the fact na we have never seen each other for more than two years. So yun, hopefully to more memories here in 2022. Yeah, bye! Thank you.